Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. Uh, if you're new, welcome. And I want to share with you today a really nice idea that I saw on Pinterest for a bridal shower centerpiece. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree to see how we could make this more affordable and we blinged it up just a little bit and I think it came out really cute. So I wanted to share with you guys how I made it, so let's get started. So first you're going to need a little bud vase. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. Um, and then I cut out a little V shape out of tape and tape that onto the top here. So that'll be our little neckline for our wedding dress. And I'm going to take this outside and put a couple of coats of white paint on the outside of the vase. And then I'll show you our next step. So here it is, all painted white. Uh, I took the tape off and I actually um, took some of this khaki paint and painted in where the neckline would be, uh, just so you can't see through it and see the stems from your flowers or whatever. And this is what I used to paint it. It was just some leftover white paint that I had had. Um, I did three coats. I just did it like 12 inches away real light coat and let it dry in between until you know it's covered pretty good. You should really not even get to see this part. So now I wanted to add a little glitter for the top of this dress. Um, I purchased these and I think this would probably be plenty to do this um, at the Dollar Tree. But I have some left over in a container that I purchased at Michael's that I'm going to use first. But you can get it at the Dollar Tree. So we're just going to open that up and take some Mod Podge and I've got one of my handy little plastic plates from the Dollar Tree that I like to use and put some Mod Podge in there. Ooh, there's a big glop. All right. And then I'm just going to paint that on. I don't want to put it on the beige part that I painted, so I'm going to just go around that first. so I don't have to be so careful for the rest of the way. And then just sprinkle some of our glitter on. Yeah, see? That's going to be really pretty. And I also made a line here, just, I mean, depending on what kind of bud base you get, you know, just figure out where you want your skirt to start. So I'm good. mine is going to start right about down there. And I'm just going to go along this edge. And get this part done so I don't have to be so careful. Yeah, that's going to look gorgeous. All right, so now I'm just going to go around the rest of it down to where my line is because you don't want to go underneath that and paint on the Mod Podge all over. That's really pretty. All right, so I'm going to finish up. I'm just going to go all the way around the back here and, you know, to right about here and sprinkle on our glitter and then we will move on to our next step. Okay, it's all glittered up all the way around. And now we're going to have to set that down and let that dry real good. So while that's drying, actually I'm going to work on the candle holders. For the candle holders, I use these little like three inch bowls that I purchased where they sell the dishes and stuff at the Dollar Tree. Um, they were actually four for a dollar. So I'm going to use two of those and I have the diamond wrap that I also purchased at the Dollar Tree. They have it out now uh, in the Halloween section if you're lucky enough to find that. Oops. So I cut two um, rows off of the diamond wrap and I'm going to hot glue that right around the edge of the bowl. We're just 
just going to keep going around. And you want to put the hot glue on the diamond wrap because if you put it on the glass, it, the glue cools too quick and it doesn't give you enough time to really work with it at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish going around the edge. All right, here's our little bowl with our diamond wrap all the way around. Then I purchased a bag of white sand at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to fill up our little bowl just up to where the diamond wrap starts. Maybe a little more. There we go. And then I'm going to take, you're going to need two little tea light candles. You can also purchase these at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to just kind of wiggle that down in the center, like so. Then I took some beads. You can use whatever color, maybe um, to match your bridesmaids' dresses or whatever. I'm going to use some pretty little pink beads and just place them around in the sand. And that's pretty much it for our candles. I think they look very pretty. I already finished up the other ones, so now we have our two. Just going to add a few more beads to that one so they match. And that's it for our candles. Now, hopefully, our little dress here is dry. It took about maybe a half hour or so. But through the magic of YouTube, it only took a couple minutes. So now for the dress part, I am going to use a piece of felt. I took just a piece of white felt and I cut it in half lengthwise. Well, not in half. That's not true. I cut it, uh, I measured five inches. So we're going to start here at the front and just add a little glue to the top and place it wherever you marked. And we're just going to wrap that right around here. And just glue it down as you go. And then when we get it, get it all glued on, we'll cut it off so it's nice and even. You're not really going to see too much of this anyway. This just kind of, because the tool that we're going to use is so see-through that... Um, this just kind of fills in a little more. Alright, so I'm just going to cut this off. And then cut it off around the bottom. Hopefully it will come out even because I didn't measure. And there's the beginning of our little skirt. So I'm just going to tack down the side so it doesn't stick up. And there's our little skirt. I'm just going to trim that a little more. There we go. It doesn't matter if this is perfect because we're going to be putting some more diamond wrap around the top of that. So I took a tool. This I actually got at the Dollar Tree also, which I was surprised. I didn't know they carried tool. Um, it's eight yards, and I'm not sure how wide it is. It's eight yards of it. Let's see. It is about six inches wide. So I cut these in 10 inch strips, I cut a, cut a bunch of those up, and cut a 10 inch strip, and I'm just going to fold it, I don't know if you can see this too good, I'm just going to fold it in half and leave the folded part for the bottom, and then we're just going to kind of 
bend these up like so, like fan them like that. And then we're going to glue that on. And the glue will probably go right through this, so we really don't need to glue each fold. So I'm just going to apply some glue to the back of this and attach it to the top of our dress. And yeah, that goes through just good. We're just fine. So I'm just going to keep doing that and just keep going around until you feel that you have enough. Just keep folding them in half and putting in your little pleats. You know, like you would fold a paper fan. And just put some glue on the top. And attach it to your felt. And then the more you go, the more it will fill out. So I'm going to finish going all the way around here. And I think I may go around and do that twice. I'll go around, pleat it once, all the way around, and then go around one more time just to make a fuller skirt. Okay, so I went around it and I put two rows of the tool, and that made it nice and full little skirt. So now for the waistband, we're going to take some of the bling or the diamond wrap, and we're going to glue that to cover up our um, ends of the tool. So I'm just going to put that right here. And then we're just going to glue that all the way around the waistband. Okay, and so there's our waistband. So now I have this little um, gemstone flower. It's plastic. Just a plastic gemstone looking flower that I purchased. I think I got these at Michael's on a, on a sheet. And I had one of those left over from another project, so we're going to glue this one right here in the center. Right down from our v-neck. Okay, and now we're going to add just a little bit more diamond wrap right along where we painted the neckline. Just going to glue that right along that edge to make that nice and finished off. And yes, this is quite a plunging neckline. <laughs> other strip on the other side. And when you're using the, the diamond wrap, try to get as much of this um, extra pieces off the ends because they stick up and they just look they look funny if you don't trim them down nice. Okay. So now we're just gonna take this one on this side and start right here. And there's our beautiful neckline. And actually, I think I may put one more of these little uh, plastic gems. Here they are. These actually came in a long sheet that I purchased at Michael's. I got these, they were $3.99, but I got them 60% off. Um, they're supposed to be self-adhesive, but when you try to peel them off the paper, the uh, adhesive stays on the paper and not on the gem. So it could be why they were 60% off. So I'm just going to cut another one of those out because it looks just a little plain in the center of our dress there. And I'm just going to add one more of these little gems. 
That makes it look much more special. Okay, and that is it for our little bride. Now you can use, um, you could put in regular, you know, real flowers or fake flowers. If you put in real flowers, I would recommend putting the water in with like a, a funnel or something so you don't get it splashed all over your little dress. But for this video, we're just going to stick in some of these little dollar store flowers that I had bunched together with some um, floral tape. And we're just going to stick them in there for now. Oops. And that is our little bride to be. Zoom that up here a little bit. Okay, well I'm going to set this all up and light up our candles and see how cute our centerpiece came out. Alright guys, here's our finished centerpiece. Um, it came out really pretty. I love this. Uh, I saw it on something similar on Pinterest and I had to see how I could recreate it using mostly Dollar Tree items. I think the total cost maybe of making one of these sets is maybe $2.50, $3 at the most because the tool, you can make a couple of these from the one roll of tool and you can also make two of the candle holders from the four pack of uh, little bowls. So, yes. It came out very sparkly. I don't know if you can see the sparkle. Yeah. It's very pretty. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, thanks for watching. And I hope maybe someday you guys can create the same thing or something similar. And have a great day, everybody.